16 i am your host javon and we're about a brand new benchmark it's fist forging shadow torch for the pc so today we're running this down. on my intel Torch core i3 7100u with the intel hd 620 integrated graphics as you can see right off the bat the game is not playable with this setup we're running at 720p on the lowest preset however this is an unreal engine game so fun times are awaiting i just wanted to show you guys how it ran before i changed the settings around but as you can see everything is on low and this is about it i won't even try to play the game like this right now i won't even dare try the game is not playable right now i'll see you guys in a second i've entered the config file and changed the game from obviously I just dropped actually I just dropped the rendering Slow scale down. to fifty percent. It was at a hundred before I just dropped it to fifty. There will be a video showing you guys how to get to the config file and change around the settings as well. Um it might come up before this video to be fair. But yeah, with just that little tweak, just that one tweak. The game plays at over fifty FPS now. All of a sudden the game has become incredibly playable. I probably didn't even have to go that far down. I definitely did My computer battery is running low. What the heck? How, how is that possible? It's plugged in. That doesn't even make sense. It's plugged in. <laughs> okay. That doesn't even make sense. It's plugged in. Oh crap. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a Sorry about that. That was that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. I, I don't. All of a sudden, I didn't have. Well, that, that also that also explains performance issues. Then you understand. No wonder it was sticking at first. That that definitely explains performance issues. It's definitely on now because look, there's no more lag or there's no more stuttering. But hey, that was crazy. So we're jumping into it. It seems to be running well, you know, over way over 30 FPS. It's averaging about 54 FPS, somewhere around there. I feel like it's more in the 50s than the 40s, but we'll see. It is running quite well, and like I said, this is without me even using the scalability option. And this is simply the normal game. I just lowered the rendering resolution. That's all I did. It's crazy. And we got this much more performance. So you know for the Intel HD4600, I won't even bother to test this running anywhere below this already applied. I may have used a scalability valve for that one, to be honest. I doubt it'd work any I doubt it'd work any other way. Also, I need to check my settings again. <laughs> yeah, because everything's on low. I probably could actually drop these a bit more to be honest. Why? Why do we have to- they say- But as you can see, you can definitely get over 30 FPS. What I would recommend for those who really want to play this on in Intel HD graphics, frame cap it to 30 FPS, which means- which would, would limit your GPU's frame rate, which would definitely benefit you in the long run. So you won't get as much stutter as I get, or you won't get as much frame drops as I get because it's running more stable. That's why it's playing all sporadically. Obviously, I'm trying to show you how the game would run. That's why I'm showing you it like this. I have it uncapped. But with 30 FPS, integrated graphics can do this all day long. Missing map data. Mm, looks like the tracking function is still offline. Right into Urso. I need to get to Torch Tower right away. Yeah, it definitely run all day long. Easily. So just keep that in mind for your next time. I somehow managed to find ways to get these integrated games running on integrated graphics, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. Leave a comment down below if you guys see me test next. I basically do everything on this channel. Um, as you can see, from newest game to emulation to very old games, trying to get them to run on integrated graphics. 
Uh, it can range from anything. So yeah, once again, don't forget to smash that like button for getting another low end game, a game running on this low end computer. The end of 4600 is going to be much harder to achieve, but we will achieve it nonetheless. I'll see you guys next time. I'll just leave you with some gameplay here now while I mute myself. So just enjoy that until the end of the video.